pleased and proud to introduce my classmate Sarah Polshuk and her solo piece, Searching for Satori. I believe. I just know 
that I, I right now I don't I don't believe in the party. I don't believe in communism. And then a bomb dropped. Or a plane hit. A plane hit the glass windows of the first tower at 8.46 and 30 seconds. Glass breaks. So, uh, 9.03 and 2 seconds, a plane hits the second tower of the World Trade Center between floor 77 and 85. 56 minutes later, at 10.03 and 2 seconds, the World Trade Center, the South Tower, collapses. Uh, 10.03 and 22 seconds, the North Tower of the World Trade Center collapses. You know the story. I was there. I was stunned. And then, and then I was running. Ah! And I, I, I reached the shore of Battery Park, and I think, I'm most likely gonna die. And then I think, damn, I've never been in love. <laughs> but I'm happy I'm not a virgin. <laughs> And then I'm like singing, and this song comes out of me. Alicia Keys is really popular at the time, and I keep on falling in and out of love with you. Sometimes I love you, <laughs> sometimes you make me feel blue. <laughs> waterway and and I, I get on the boat and then the boat is filled full and no one else can fit so I float away and I look back and I see all these people on the shore and even then I think oh shit I feel guilty <laughs> and then guilt sets in guilt yeah the most unproductive emotion. <laughs> That's what comes of guilt, except a few extra pounds. I'd say about seven years of a few extra pounds to follow. Before that day, I healed more easily. My blood clotted better. After that day, everything sunk me deeper and deeper into bed.
don't think. <laughs> a fish not to swim. I, I am an overthinking master. <laughs> a super neurotic. <laughs> a Jedi analyzer. <laughs> With no heart, no center, no calm. My parents, they've been telling me my whole life what to believe, and that's comforting, you know? And now, uh, now nothing comforted me. Nightmares. Missile dreams, flood dreams, meteor dreams, alien dreams, and of course, plane crash dreams. Uh, maybe I'm just I was the drama queen, according to my parents. <laughs> They'd have to hold me down screaming to take out a splinter. <laughs> Three of them. Did you know that people who are thin-skinned actually are more sensitive? Their stomachs. <laughs> So calling someone thin-skinned, it's not hyperbole. It's fact! <laughs> fact! Justin Lally, third grade, called me vein girl. Because he could see my veins. Even now, if you look, you can see them. They're red. Veins in my cheeks. Veins in my thighs. I don't know why people want them removed. I love seeing them. They remind me of what's underneath. That I'm just a sack of skin. And that is comforting. When I look into my veins and I, I see that there, there was a moment of calm on that shore. When everything was clear, and I sang, I keep on falling in and out of love with you. Sometimes I love you, sometimes you make me feel blue. -blue. How do you give me so much pleasure? and cause me so much pain. And when I was on that shore, I only thought one thought. It's <laughs> gonna help. I thought love. <laughs> Satori, understanding, understanding of our true nature. And that moment, that moment usually only comes in the moment right before you die. And I had that moment.
became a part of the Communist Party. And I, I can say I'm too old because I'm not, I'm not doing much. But, um, but I, I still write letters to congressmen and performing a committee against the drones. <laughs> <laughs> Or whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> 